This video shows you, how to determine, the molecular formula of a compound, from percent composition. The relation between molecular formula, and empirical formula, can be written like this. N, is equal to, molecular formula mass divided by, empirical formula mass. This tells you, how many empirical formula units, are present in one molecular formula unit. Let's take, hydrogen peroxide, as an example. The molar mass is 34.02 grams per mole. The empirical formula mass is 17.01 grams. So the value of N, is equals to 2. If the empirical formula, of hydrogen peroxide is, H1, O1. Then, the molecular formula of, hydrogen peroxide, is H2O2. Compound X, has a molar mass of 240.28 grams per mole. Its percent composition is, 75% carbon, 5.05% hydrogen, and the remaining is oxygen. What is the compound's molecular formula? The first assumption, we will make is, we have 100 grams of the compound. The mass of hydrogen, plus the mass of carbon, is equal to 80.05 grams. Since we start with 100 grams, of the compound. 100 minus 80.05 grams, will give the mass of oxygen which is 19.95 grams. Now, let's calculate, the simplest mole ratio, in which carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are combined. The mass of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, present in 100 grams of the compound are, carbon, 75 grams, hydrogen, 5.05 grams, and oxygen, 19.95 grams. Next, we will determine the moles of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. For this, we will divide the mass of carbon, by 12.01 grams per mole, hydrogen by, 1.01 grams per mole, and oxygen by, 16 grams per mole. This will give us 6.245 moles of carbon, 5 moles of hydrogen, and 1.246 moles of oxygen. To obtain the simplest ratio, we will divide, all the three numbers by the smallest value, in this case, by 1.246. This gives us, the simplest ratio, in which the elements are combined, or the empirical formula of the compound. Which is, C5, H4, O1. From the empirical formula, and the molar mass, we will now determine, the actual molecular formula, from the equation we saw earlier. Substituting the values in the equation, and turns out to be 3. This gives us, the molecular formula of the compound. C15, H12, O3. That's it for now, if you like the video, please don't hesitate, to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.